Welcome to Michael Kent Racing Stables, uh, the ATI colours to the fore over the last couple of years, hopefully will be in the coming weeks and hopefully will be this Saturday with uh, Blackie, Mick. Yeah, no, he's uh, looking forward, he's obviously ran very well first up and you know, it's, we're all sort of ex excited about, well, you know, he's running in two group ones now and um, those big handicaps and I know you need a lot of luck in that but you know, he's got the sort of right right sort of style of horse I think, right figures for that sort of those sort of races so um, barriers and things play a part obviously but I'm happy with the horse. Um, narrowly beaten by Wurham, arguably unlucky. Um, Wurham's the sort of horse that's shown that he's already been competitive in these Group 1 seven furlong type handicaps. So, uh, you know, you'd think he'd run well, wouldn't you? Yeah, look, I, yeah, he's always run well for me. I've never seen him run poorly. So, um, I, yeah, you would. You know, you pray for the right barrier and you pray for the right run. Big handicap, field of 18. You know, it'll be a very competitive race, I'd imagine. Um, but, you know, there yeah, I... I've got no qualms about running him in that race. Physically strong animal. Yeah, yeah, big tall horse. He'll improve again, I think, in the autumn. Um, yeah, no, he's, he's a lovely big horse, and um, we haven't, we, we're not even unsure how far he'll go in trip yet. But um, while he's sort of showing speed at these shorter trips, we'll keep him at that and maybe try him over a longer trip later on. The filly Vittoria ran on Saturday. Her closing sectionals were okay. She looks like a marathon runner. There's not a lot of her, is there? No, no, she's. Uh, I'm really pleased with her. Uh, uh, when she first came, she was quite green and uh, quite new, and she wouldn't wouldn't travel or take the jockey anywhere in a race. And uh, that was her style in New Zealand too. So we've spent a bit of time. Where we've trained her a bit different. We're sort of putting her behind a mate now, making her come out behind it and go past it. And she started to get the idea. Uh, I thought she ran really well Saturday. Um, uh, she probably does want blinkers on, but I'll probably give her another run. I'd like to like to educate them first and then maybe put blinkers on close to the oaks. But um, oh, I couldn't believe the way she pulled up on Saturday and how she looks this morning. I'm really pleased with this. So uh, there's no trouble running the distance of the oaks. I've just got to get her in there. Is there a 2,000 metre race next option? Uh, look, no, there's not. There's, the, Phillies, the Phillies program's poor for, in regard to staying Phillies until you get after the 1,000 guineas and the manifold. So she will probably go to the East Shire Stakes on, Monday, on Turnbull Stakes Day over nine furlongs. And then she'll go to the Caulfield Cup Day, the 2,000 metre listed Phillies races, where I expect her to be performing well. My Bentley, arguably too close first up, arguably too far back second up. Yeah, complete forgive run. I mean, you know, drew an 18. I mean, you take your chance, but, you know, he ended up back where we probably thought he was going to be. I only did the speed maps on the race and uh, and never got really clear running to the last 100. James got off and was quite happy with the way he felt and the way he went to the line, so he's pulled up great and uh, onto the Crown Cup for him. A newcomer, Hot Shoe Shuffling, made some late ground on Saturday. I, th I think she'd showed a bit of speed in New Zealand, but you rode her back on Saturday? Look, yeah, he won a maiden by leading all the way in New Zealand and I said to Glenn, I said, look, it's different speed obviously to here, 1100 metre open sprint at Caulfield. I was glad there was speed inside him. Um, I said you'll be sort of sitting four or, four or five lengths off them and uh, winding him up because he just takes three or four strides to get into his top gear. And um, we were a bit disappointed that he actually dropped in on the fence. You know, we thought he was in the right spot after going 100 metres and those horses had gone in front of him and he was out sort of three deep in the running line. And, and Glenn then sort of dropped in on the fence. Well, then, of course, the pace slackened and he got checked and then they got left behind and he did finish off well. Uh, yeah, no, he's a nice horse. Uh, raw, uh, athletic, uh, still f got a, some physical improvement. And um, we'll run him again. I think I might run him on the Friday night at Mini Valley over 1,200. Uh, hopefully the tempo is a little bit more sedate there for him. And I'm sure with the runner he's belt and just the education of being over here, he's, he'll improve. We'll know a little more perhaps later today with Hold for Applause. She's likely to trial, but uh, how's she coming along? Yeah, really pleased with her. You know, mayor with good talent, this mayor, and nothing's ever gone right for her in her career. Um, she had a little injury after she ran first up for me in the Vanity last year, where she ran terrific, and uh, she's come back. And she's, anyway, she's a maiden winner now, and um, that's all I can say about her. But we're hopeful to get her to the uh, mayor's race last day of the carnival. And she's come up really good. She had a good break and, you know, springs in the air and a coach good and she's you know, really pleased with her. She might kick off in the next week or so? Yeah, look, I'll try. I'll probably a fortnight before I run her, you know, and start off in a, I'll start her off in a, trying to find a, uh, an off, an off uh, Saturday race uh, where she, she needs to get a rating up. So it's important we sort of take place where she can win in the first couple of runs. Terrific. Thanks, Mick. No worries at all. Cheers.